Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to show you some of the new things that are available in Zim NFT. So this is the Zim site at zimjs.com. Uh, we have a new NFT banner here, and we can find out information about NFTs. We'll definitely do a bubbling on that. But what I would like to look at now is something exciting with Zim called Zim Crystal. So I've gone to the code section. And if you take a look at our template right there, we're calling what we call a Zim Crystal. But let me show you where we can find some information on that. It's down in the CDN. And here's our normal CDN. And then here's a bit on Zim Crystal. So let's open that up. So what that means is we can use one script call. There it is, a script call to Zim.js. The path has been taken out uh, for this demonstration. The uh, script call to Zim.js, and what that will do is it will call uh, two other scripts, create.js and the Zim minified JS. So no longer do you have to put these two scripts at the top. You can just put one script at the top. Not only that, but there's a variety of single scripts that you can choose from. So if you chose Zim game or underscore game, then you would get create JS, Zim and the Zim game module. If you chose Zim physics, then you would get box 2D, the physics module, and we throw the game module in on that often. It's small and often you use the game module when you're using physics. Here's sockets and it includes all of the scripts. So that can save you some some time there and just a bit of clutter up top. So those are crystals. Very simple system. Really that's all you need to know. And um, they're on the CDN. So I'm clicking the CDN and here's the information about Zim crystals here. Here are the crystal pages. And you can see if I click on that, that's all it is. It's just a little page right there that writes the two other scripts like so. And here's the one for ZimSocket, and it calls this batch of scripts. So that means you don't have to think about what's all included when you want to use sockets. We do that for you. There's a couple special ones. One is Zim Distill. If you distill your code for Zim, that means uh, go to the Zim Distill tool and it will minify only the Zim code that you use, then you would have your own script file as a result of that and you would put a path to that distill file. And then if you wanted to, you could call the Zim underscore distill single one, or indeed you could still use both of these. As a matter of fact, you're still welcome to call the zim underscore min direct. Note that up until zim nft, such as zim cat, etc., and zim 10 point, whatever, um, all of the zim files were zim.js. These are the minified files. Now that we're using zim.js as the crystal file here, we've gone back to calling the minified files, the, the actual full minified file. Here it is. The full minified file is called zim underscore min. Okay, so just watch that. There's also a zim test file, which calls the doc file. So sometimes that's handy. If you're getting any errors inside of the zim code, if you're using the minified zim code, then it can be kind of cryptic. Well, very cryptic because it's using single letters for various variable names. So if you want to see what those errors actually are in sort of non-minified code, then you would normally replace your Zim call with a Zim underscore doc. So what we've done is we've provided a crystal for you to use, Zim underscore test, that will toggle over to the doc version of Zim. Don't leave your final project like that because you're just downloading a megabyte or two of a doc file when you could be downloading 200k of minified file. Okay, I think the doc files, let's see where are the docs. Here's the doc 77k, so not a megabyte yet. Mm, that's gzipped. I think um, it is a megabyte if it's not gzipped. Okay, so there you go. That's information on Zim Crystal. Shall we see it in action here? We'll pop over into, well, actually, we, we'll grab it from the 
uh, from the code page here, our template. So I'm hitting copy. This is the code page. I've just hit copy. We copied that. Come into Atom or any text editor and paste. And here it is right here. There's what we call the Zim Crystal. And it's making a circle that we can center and drag. So if I save that, right click open in Browser Plus, there's our circle that we can drag. Isn't that cool? If I use the underscore test version, uh, same thing will happen, except now it's using the doc file rather than the uh, minify file. Okay, and if you wanted to use physics, underscore physics, like this, physics, then you could say dot add physics. We wouldn't want to use the drag in that case. So there it is, adding physics, and we refresh here, and now the ball falls to the ground. If you do want to drag that, you got to go an extra step here and say um, const physics is equal to a new physics. Usually you don't just start like that. You can, but um, oops. And there we go. Did it. Did I spell physics right? Physics. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so now we've added physics and we can also say physics dot drag. Um, physics dot drag. That's it. Or drag equals true. I can't remember. Yeah, that's it. Neat, huh? Okay, so that just brought in all of your physics without you having to worry about it. Yay! In the docs, there's been a little bit of an update too there. Why don't we take a peek at that? So if we pop on over to the docs, up at the top, here are the docs with an intro video. I should probably redo that intro video now that we've adjusted to Zim Crystal, but it's roughly the same. I think we'll be fine. Uh, there's updates and text. So this, this wording has been changed a little bit. We also introduced doctor, but maybe we'll talk about that. Uh, docs are reference. Okay, so use Zim Crystal. So there's a link to the info to load sets of scripts with a single script. See the CDN or the code to get you started. Individual scripts can still be loaded. There's the Zim NFT minified and unminified versions. And then you're welcome to bring in these individually and, and load Zim and create JS. Uh, just like you did before. So if you don't want to use crystals, you don't have to. Uh, it's all the same as before. So that was a pretty good solution, I think. We had considered combining Zim and CreateJS together into one document to make that easier. But I think this, um, this is a good solution to keep those two things separate still. It helps with the uh, Zim distill. If you had combined uh, CreateJS and Zim, CreateJS doesn't do distill. If we did take over CreateJS one day, who knows, maybe we will, um, then we might consider some sort of distill uh, functionality for CreateJS, but currently there isn't. So anyway, that's Zim Crystal. I am Dr. Abstract. There are some, um, some, I guess, future issues that you might come across, and that is if we update any of the files that are used in the Crystal, we do not want to make your existing apps change. So if we make an update to say Zim game, then what would happen is there would be a new crystal file made that would look like this. So the Zim game crystal would be changed. The Zim physics crystal would be changed too because uh, Zim physics uses Zim game. And so it will give a, a version number like so. So your normal, uh, so there will be Zim game still available because we don't want to break existing files. And then there would be a new crystal file made under 01 for game. Uh, there would be no change to just the plain Zim crystal because the plain Zim crystal doesn't call Zim game. And so that's how it works. And we describe that here. So this is um, perhaps a little bit complicated looking. If we then make a change to Zim physics, specifically physics, then only the physics would update, not the Zim game. So there's the Zim game left at one from the, the change in Zim game. Now the physics has zero one, which was the original change to game, 
and a new one, 0, 2, because we have subsequently changed the physics. So like I said, probably won't have to worry about that, but just look out for it in the CDN. These would be all listed in the CDN, and if you want to use a physics, you would just say, oh, I'm wanting to use a physics, therefore I'll want to use the latest physics crystal, that one. And so at that time, that's what you would use. And then if something updates, you don't really have to worry about it because what you made will work with your the crystal that you were using. Okay, cheers! Yay! This has been a What's Bubbling with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. That's a little bit on Zim Crystal. Basically, it just means you can load CreateJS and Zim with one file. Okay, and other other ver other uh, collections of libraries with one file just makes it a little bit easier oh especially for you know kids teachers etc they don't have to explain what CreateJS is bye bye have a great day or night and look forward to more bubblings